Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, May 11th. Let's stop what we're doing and together let's join second grader Leah Poole de Salvo in our Noxon pledge. Thank you so much to Leah. And in fact, today is Leah's birthday. So Leah, we wish you a very happy birthday today. I know that Leah is having a tea party today for her birthday. So we hope that you enjoy that wonderful tea party. What a special way to celebrate your birthday. Also today is the birthday of Bryn Burgess in kindergarten. Bryn, we hope you have a wonderful day on your birthday. I know that Bryn is having having strawberry cake with strawberry frosting. So we hope she has a very special strawberry birthday. And I hope that all of Bryn and Leah's friends all reach out and wish them a very, very happy birthday. We're thinking of both of you, um, and we know how special you are. We're so proud that you're both a year older, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, today is Make It Monday. So we have Mrs. Spuler, our beloved teaching assistant, who will be sharing a recipe with all of you. So let's join Mrs. Spuler in our Make It Monday feature. Hi, Noxon Heroes, it's Mrs. Spuler. We're supposed to share one of our very favorite recipes with you, and one of my family's favorites is something my friend wrote on a card for me. I like to keep it on the card because it reminds me of her, um, called Mexican Dip. And the things that you'll need to make it are eight ounces of whipped cream cheese, a jar of salsa. We used to make it with a half a can of refried beans, but then one day we didn't have them. So my daughter and I now use just a can of black beans, half, you know, half of this. And then you top it off with really any cheese that you have, but Mexican cheese or a taco cheese is really good. So you take your cream cheese, you put it in the bottom of it, and you spread it all out. And if my dogs bark through this, my daughter's going to show you my dogs here. This is Moose, the beagle, and this little guy is Harry. They're both rescues, which means that they didn't really have a home until we adopted them. So we're happy to have them. But they may bark during this because they really like cheese. So they might be kind of obnoxious. So there's your cream cheese. You lay it all out in the bottom. And then I put these aside to recycle later. You open up your jar of salsa. And you pour that right in. And the same thing again, you smooth it out on top of it. This is something all you guys can do yourselves with a little help from someone bigger to use the can opener and all. I opened this up already. And the weird thing about cans of beans is they have to be rinsed. So I put some in. Rinse them off, shake them a little bit, and then we can put them just a little bit on top, all the way around. You can use as little or as much as you like. And this is vegetarian too, because we don't use any meat in it. And then you can top it with this cheese. And again, you can use as little or as much as you like. My daughter likes a lot of cheese. So we try and cover it pretty well. And spread it in. And then we just microwave it. Four minutes and then you can use any type of taco dip to put into it and that's about it we're gonna wait for that to nuke up and get nice and melted and over here I just want to show you my little knocks on friends I always have your picture here 
so it makes me happy to see it. And just like you guys, we're always making words with our magnets. Um, so that's about it, and I hope you're all well. Stay healthy, and I hope to hear soon that some of you made this taco dip and liked it. Bye, guys. Bye, Not Sun Heroes. Thank you so much to Mrs. Spieler. That made me hungry just watching that. So we may be making that today in my house. Also, today begins our new Speedy on the road again. So Speedy and I will be on the road. We'll pull some addresses of our students, just random addresses. And we will be stopping to brighten your day, drop off a little special something, um, and then we'll be back on the road. So we will feature the video of those houses that we stop at in our morning announcements tomorrow. So make sure that you are all watching the YouTube morning announcements. We could be stopping at your home. Um, and I hope you're about ready to get started on your Google Classrooms. Let's work hard and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks everyone, have a great day.